TerraSculptor can be used to create real-world terrains in Unreal Engine 5. In this tutorial, we will be creating an 8km by 8km real-world landscape using 1 meter USGS data. Digital elevation model files are scanned height maps of real-world locations. Otherworldly locations, including the Moon and Mars, are also available. Digital elevation models can be downloaded from a number of websites in many countries. There is a current partial list of sites maintained on the Digital Elevation Model Sites dialog on the Tools menu in TerraSculptor. For this tutorial, we want 1 meter spacing data so that we get the best quality possible in Unreal Engine 5. For this digital elevation model file, we will be using an HTML file server website page that contains a long list of files. Many of the height maps in this site contain voids or holes, so we must locate a file that has no voids for our use as a height map in Unreal Engine 5. On the TerraSculptor Tools menu, choose the Digital Elevation Model Sites item. On the dialog, look for the USGS National Map site that has 1 meter data. Select the item and click on the Copy button to copy the website address to the clipboard. Launch your web browser and paste the website address into the address bar and go to the site. The site is an HTML file server site, so it is just a bunch of links that we have to navigate through. This site contains both GeoTIFF and IMG format files, and we want the GeoTIFF format for TerraSculptor. Click on the Projects link. Click on the NM Santa Fe Co 2014 link. Click on the Browse link to get a list of thumbnail JPEG files that you can browse. Once you've found a thumbnail without voids for the region that you want, click on the Browser Back button and click on the TIFF link. Scroll down to the TIFF file that you found a good thumbnail for. Click on the file to download it to your Downloads folder. For example, I'm choosing the X40Y400 NM Santa Fe Co file. To import the GeoTIFF file, click on the File menu, then the Import Terrain item, browse to the file that you downloaded, select it and click on the Open button. TerraSculptor will load the file's properties to determine the file format. We can see by the results that this is a 32-bit floating point GeoTIFF file. Click on the OK button to accept and load the file. Take note of the height map resolution on the status bar, and see that this GeoTIFF file is 1012 by 1012. TerraSculptor also takes care of normalizing the data on import, so its altitude range is 100%. The next step is to resample the height map down to one of the recommended Unreal Engine landscape resolutions. This is easiest to perform if we have the Unreal Engine Landscape dialog set to display on the various sizing dialogs in TerraSculptor. So if you haven't already done this, choose the Settings on the Tools menu, click on the Dimensions tab, and enable the Unreal Engine Dimensions set. To resample the height map to a recommended resolution, choose the Resample modifier on the Modify menu. Click on the Unreal Engine button, Select 8129 for both width and length. This gives us an 8129 by 8129 landscape. Click on the OK button to transfer these dimensions to the resample dialog. Change the quality drop down to best and click on the OK button to resample the height map. Resampling can cause the overall height map altitude range to change, so be sure to now choose the normalize item on the modify menu. Height maps should always be normalized before export to PNG 16 for Unreal Engine. Be sure to normalize the height map before exporting. On the File menu, choose the Export Terrain item. In the File Type drop down, scroll down and choose PNG Image. Navigate to the folder to save to if desired and change the file name if desired. Click on the Save button to export and save the PNG16 file.
launch Unreal Engine 5 and either load an existing project or create a new project depending on your needs. Create a new level for the new landscape. In this case I am choosing the open world template so that most of the map actors are already set up. Select and delete the demo landscape streaming proxies and then the landscape actor since we will be importing a new landscape. Click on the Select Mode drop down and choose Landscape. On the Landscape dialog, choose the Import from File tab. Click on the Ellipses button next to the file name and browse for the PNG 16 height map we just saved. Select and assign a material at this time. We are using a multi layer auto material for this tutorial. We are using the default location and scale properties. You can modify them as desired now or later, then click on the import button. Feel free to modify the landscape properties and details as required on the landscape details panel.